I live in a family of five. My parents are immigrants from Mexico. They're hard workers. They have always encouraged me to value hard work, ambition, dreams. But most importantly, they've taught me to defend myself, to believe in myself, to strive for more, just as they did. My name is Natalia Ramirez. I'm 16 years old and I'm a junior at Summit High School in Fontana. One of the classes that I take at Summit High School is forensics. And my favorite part about that class is the fingerprint analysis and the photography analysis of a crime scene. I like that it's very one-on-one. -on -one. It's a whole different world in the forensics classroom compared to other science classrooms like biology or chemistry. Um, it's very, like I said, it's one-on-one. -on -one. So all the labs we do, all the experiments and the experiences that we have in there, it's as if we are actual crime scene investigators. And it helps me explore skills I never believed I had. For example, crime scene photography, I never believed that I would be that good with the camera and actually captivating every single frame, every single shot. You know, how far do you have to be from the object? How close do you have to be? I learned that I actually have a pretty good eye at that. On the side, I'm really into singing and songwriting. I've been doing that my whole life. I play guitar and piano, so any free time that I have at home, I spend it vocal training, recording videos, and uploading it on YouTube, and writing songs. That is my absolute biggest passion. This past August, I auditioned for the American Idol Open Call auditions. My family came with me all the way to Santa Barbara. Fun fact, we had to leave in the middle of the night because we had to be in line and ready by two in the morning. I spent hours and unfortunately I received a rejection, but it was definitely a growth experience. After my rejection at American Idol, I not only received an artistic setback as well as an emotional and personal setback. So I did spend a couple months not writing. My writer's block was through the roof. I spent a couple months not doing any vocal training and I completely lost my motivation. After feeling so down for a, a lot of time, six months, I believe that it was music that saved me out of that state. In my most emotional and personal times, I listened to the most emotional and personal music. And through that emotion, I felt encouragement to continue to create music that was raw and authentic and relatable. So though I forgot about music and why I started doing it in the first place, after I kind of got into the emotion, I realized this is why I do it in the first place and I can't sit here and feel sad about it. I have to actually do something and grow. After high school, I plan on attending a four-year university. I want to double major in music and foreign communication slash relations. Um, but I also want to be an inspiration. So my career in, in music is not over. I want to continue to create music that's relatable and that uplifts people. And I definitely want to continue my path as a singer. If any teens watch this and they're experiencing a moment of sadness, of loneliness, of no motivation, I just want to say that don't forget who you are and who you want to be. I know that you may feel alone sometimes and you feel that the experiences you go through nobody understands, but you have to remember that who you are is who you were born to be. And you also have to remember that the person you want to be, you can't become that unless you work for it and unless you try and unless you keep believing. I know failures can be very disappointing and can have a huge impact on the way you see life the way you see yourself but you have to know that failure doesn't last and neither does sadness and the only way that you can reach the person you want to be and it's very important to be the best version of yourself but the only way you can do that is if you work for it so I encourage you to be someone who works hard who is persistent who's ambitious who is kind to others because the energy that you put out is energy you will receive and you're a teenager you're young but you have so much to live for so take advantage I'm proud to be part of the city of Fontana's community. The friends, the people, the staff, the teachers, the schools. I've received countless support for all of my years being here and I'm so proud to be born and raised in the San Bernardino County.